challenge it. Yeah, I've just come from the hospital this morning. He's had surgery at 8:30, and he's got three plates in his uh, in his cheekbone. Um, the doctor was really happy with the way the surgery went, um, and uh, it's just a matter of how he can handle the the pain and the swelling as to whether he plays this week. But as far as the the surgery and the structure. Of, of his cheekbone now, it's as solid as it can be. Um, so we, we'll just wait and see how he recovers during the week. You are a betting man, so what are the odds? Oh, I think he's he's a chance, yeah. I think he's 50-50. But, you know, the, the big thing, the, I just got off the phone to the surgeon before actually he rang back and he's seen him. And um, the big thing he stressed was that there's minimal risk to the actual injury now. It's just a matter of, you know, whether he can play with the, the swelling and the pain or how quickly that can subside and whether he can get, you know, get past that for Friday night. Have you spoken to Lockie and what's he, what are his thoughts? Like, <laughs> he wants, really wants to play? Oh, he's still coming too, yeah. He, he, when I was up there, he was, you know, the doctor had literally come straight out of surgery. He got off the road at 8.30 and uh, so I'll, I'll go back up after after uh, this and do a bit of work. He'll probably be two or three o'clock. He'll be um, able to have a clear head and start having a look at it. But the main thing is that you know, he's, um, the doctor, as I say, was really happy with it. It's, it's, it's all in place. It's, you know, we finished the game with it as well. And, and the doctors um, stressed that the, you know, the, the main, uh, or the, there's minimal risk to the actual injury now. It's a matter of whether he can get past the operation. So I'm seeing that here. Sorry, when did you hatch the plan? Though? Last night you came down the rooms and said he's fine, he'll be all right. Yeah, well, I wasn't playing ducks and drakes, and we, you know, we, he'd had a head knock, and the doctor wanted him to um, just settle down before he, he had a look at him, and and the doctor was optimistic last night. Um, you know, so you know, I've just learned over the years not to jump to conclusions, and uh, and you know, after he'd cooled down and. They had, had an assessment of it, you know, an hour or so after the game, they decided to go ahead with some scans and... and could he um, played without the surgery? Yeah, he could have, yeah. Um, that was another option. Um, but they thought this was um, a, a safer way to go to actually get it fixed. And um, So we, we discussed that last night. And, um, so that's what's happened. So what's the recovery plan this week? What's, what's the plan? Well, it's just that's it, it's recovery. We've just got to wait and see over the next 48 hours how he, how he pulls up. So will the doctors make the final call and let him be close? Or will he? Or? No, it'll be lucky, yeah. yeah it's his, it'll be his call. Um, but like I say, the doctor's extremely um, happy with the way it went and um, he's optimistic that um, you know, he's a chance of playing. Um, and that there's minimal risk to the actual injury. As I keep saying, it's a matter of whether he can get past, <coughs> you know, the recovery period to get on the field on Friday night. As a coach, do you roll that dice, mate? mate. Do you roll the dice? I mean, if he could come off halfway through the game. Do you roll that dice? Oh, we'll worry about that later in the week. Yeah. If, yeah. if it wasn't Darren Lockyer, would he be playing? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, it's a final. We need to win. Yeah, otherwise, it's cricket season. So. Oh, it could have been the case that if you've got to be the case that 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 you've the doctor stressed is, you know, there's no long-term injury he can he can, he can do. The the the, the immediate um, uh, issue would be uh, the pinching one of the muscles in the eye, um, which would blur his vision and things like that. Um, I mean, the facial fracture's been fixed in the three plates, there. Um, so that's, as I understand it, pretty stable. Um, so, you know, there, there's risks there, but as I stress, it's, um, it's, it's a, they keep um, reinforcing that it's a minimal risk and um, the, the, the main issue is just the pain and recovery uh, process now about whether physically he can, he can play with, 
with the, the swelling in the pie. You wouldn't ask Darren to take any risk, would you? I mean, you wouldn't ask Darren to take any risk other than, you know, a calculated one? Uh, I mean, the, in the end, it'll be entirely up to himself. Um, he's played 355 games and he's he's uh, coming to the end of his career, so it'll be his call. And, um, you know, uh, we'll name him and, and get on with the week, and if that doesn't happen, well, we'll get on with that as well. Could it be a case, Anthony, that he may miss this game? Is that an option as well, to sit out this game, and perhaps if they do get through, to, is that an option as well, perhaps? Well, I think that'll just be an option through, you know, the course of the week. Yeah, you know, I don't think we'll make a decision based on that. We'll give him every possible chance to play, and if he doesn't play, and um, we do happen to get through, you know, there's a lot of, you know, maybe's there, but you know, obviously, he'd be more of a chance of playing next week then. But um, we'll we'll leave it entirely up to him and just see how he's feeling after 48 hours. Well, it's an amazing amount of pressure on him. I mean, Wayne last night said you can't win the game. Do you agree with that? Obviously not. Oh no, I mean that's. Wayne's opinion, and he's, you know, he's probably right. Um, you know, most people, have, you know, would would say that. Um, but you know, there's, there's 80 minutes of footy on Friday, and we got we got other players that can play. Who would go and play that if Darren wasn't there? Yeah, well, there's obvious ones are um, Norman or Hunt. Yeah, so we'll again we'll have a look at that and. Um, just uh, have a chat this afternoon amongst ourselves and, and sort that out. Is there a helmet at all? There's an option there. Um, the surgeon's um, got a f getting a, uh, a guard made if he feels comfortable enough wearing. The, again, that's a, a precaution. It's um, it's up to him. Is it like the end of the opera guard, or is it just a? Yeah, I had a look at it this morning. Yeah, it's 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 um, it's it's, it's moulded around headgear, but it's got a couple of. You know, like a gladiator. Yeah, yeah, that type of thing. Um, yeah. So, but but again, um, that that's his choice as well. If 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 he if he wants to wear it. Norman and Hunt, obvious ones, but would you go outside that with a bigger bloke and up against four and if you? Yeah. Uh, no, I think yeah, that. Could play there. Yeah, we yeah you know, we we get Friday back. Um, which will bolster our forwards. I think the main thing in these games is, you know, you, we hold our line defensively and be strong in the middle first. Um, obviously, um, you know, your halves are important. And uh, but I mean, we're going to have to play without Lockie in a couple of games' time anyway next year. So uh, if he's not there, we'll, we'll give uh, one of the kids a go. Anthony, can you quite believe, you know, Lockie's four years? It's not about him, but look at the. And did you shake your head? What's happened, Lockie? It's just incredible, isn't it? Yeah, uh, he, he can grab a headline. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's it's. Right. Just saw it, you know, just about that last night. It was, um, it was just uh, unbelievable the way that game finished, and, and he did that. And then, um, you know, the, the the events of this morning. It's, um, you know, it's just a funny time of year, but we'll get on with it. When did you get the call that he had to go on to the surgeon? What time? When did you hear the news? Oh, uh, we were probably you know, as a, as the night developed last night. You know, an hour to probably two hours after the game. We, we sort of uh, realised that, that that was our best option and we put the wheels in motion there. Do you remember Brett Camorley a few years ago? Brett Camorley had the same similar thing? Yeah, he did, yeah, yeah. Positive? Yeah, yeah well, he, um, I think he played, uh, I think he only missed one game, didn't he? Uh, yeah, um, and, and played, I think, after two weeks it might have been. The doctor was actually talking about that this morning. Um, um, yeah, but it was the same, the same injury. Well, who did the surgery and where? Uh, John Arvia at the Wesley. John's a... Um, that's a location. That's him, yeah. yeah. Um, and Peter Myers uh, was there to assist as well. And um, as I say, I met with both those guys this morning um, and they're both very happy with the way it's gone. The doc said anything about whether he'd be able to fly? Sometimes they get sinus mm. like Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah we're worried about that. What was the initial message you got from Springer and Alfie Langham when they treated it? Yeah, no, they were, you know, I was all good. And as I say, I, after the game, um, I suppose in the, the euphoria of the win, you know, we weren't really, um, that, 
you know, sure or, or you know, aware of what had actually happened, and I don't think he was either. It wasn't until you know, uh, you know, we cooled right down, and, and the doctor, you know, uh, really started to have a look at him that we we realised he might have had a bit more of a problem than what we thought. Is it good? last night indeed more perspective about the courage the bloke has and his tolerance of pain and the top thing. Yeah, it was a great effort. You know, he's, he's obviously a bit concussed as well, the, 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 you know, the impact of the blow. Um, you know, I just thought they all showed a lot of courage out there last night, but particularly Darren to get up from that. You know, I, I thought that the whole 34 players out there, the other bloke played with a broken leg right here, uh, Morris, no. with, with an ankle and yeah. Um, it was just uh, you know, a real special game and um, I thought you know, everyone on the field showed some courage and in particular Darren. Do you think when you talk to him this afternoon you're going to already know the answer to the question you're going to put to him? Do you think you're going to be right because he's not going to? Uh, well, yeah, I just, that, that's something that he, I just want to get up there and, and just, uh, I suppose, say hello to him. You know, I'm not going up there to see whether he can play or not. Yeah. I mean that that'll be a decision for him when he's ready to make it and and um, we'll you know we'll worry about that when he makes that decision. We'll we'll just get on with business. But, uh, right. Everyone should remember semi Friday play five eight tomorrow. All right, there it is, Anthony.